Let's go to Islamabad, talk to the security analyst, Dr. Zafar Jaspal. Uh, Dr. Jaspal, first of all, the, the drivers were targeted here. Would there have been no obvious security with them? When we look about this attack, it is a reminder, reminder for the government of Pakistan that within the Punjab area, the, these uh, transactions are not secure. Because if you see the record of the attacks on the NATO trucks or supplies, they were more in the nearer the Afghan Pakistan border or in the tribal areas. But this time, very easily, they just moved at 10, km, 10 to 50 kilometers out of the skirts of the Islamabad. They came as a convoy, you know, motorcycle and the car, and they hit it. it there are two points which one has to keep in mind. A, the security of these kinds of the, you can say, transactions will be no more within the settled area of Pakistan. But the most important thing is it confirms that there are strong groups within Punjab who have a linkages with the Tariq -e Taliban and they have identical agenda of hitting the NATO supplies. Presumably this isn't the only convoy that uses this route. Um, it's a pretty frequent uh, passage to t coming up from Karachi, via Islamabad, eventually on to Afghanistan. Uh, would it have been easy for those who did this to find out what was going on? I think that it is very easy for both. The terrorists that if they, if you see that from Karachi they come via uh, either Indus Highway or they go for the Lahore and then they come on this uh, what we call it Grand Trunk Road. So naturally when the convoy is moving, uh, people are, it's not a hidden camouflage convoy. It's easier for them to understand that something is coming. The most uh, troubling point is that the people who hit there, none of them was arrested. And it was an area which is very security cordon area. Because if you go 5 or 10 kilometers ahead, there are the major Pakistan military industrial complex which built the weapons for the country. And that is area is a very sensitive area. In that area, if they emerge and hit this kind of convoy, naturally it's a disturbing element. And therefore, are those who use this route, the NATO forces in this case, are going to have to change their plans? And would it be therefore more difficult for them to get supplies into Afghanistan? That is natural. For example, if we focus on the NATO forces supply lines, they have alternative route from the Central Asian sites, but they are very difficult. But on the, in the case of Pakistan, this is the only route where which can go. Otherwise, you can say that, let's say, from Gawada to the uh, Chaman, that is not workable. It's more dangerous. I think this is the most economical, secure route for them, despite the attack. Yes, we have been hearing since long, since the start of the, this uh, operation and the NATO when came, that they were looking for the alternative routes from the, uh, what we call it, Central Asia. But that is too difficult for them, because once from Central Asia, then they have to travel within Afghanistan. So these are the things which NATO has, has always been considering. I think that is a trouble for the NATO as well. Now they, have, they are more vulnerable, not only in the tribal areas, but in the settled areas of Pakistan. Yeah, in terms of the tribal area, uh, we hear news of the Oryxai tribal region. There's been a big attack on a security convoy up there. Around about half a dozen soldiers, I think, died. Maybe 40 fighters also killed. When we see this sort of thing, does it mean we're seeing a particularly um, new sort of tactic to, to attack those that are moving around on the roads, uh, much as we've seen in Afghanistan? Yeah, that is correct. You have a correct assessment that if we see a few days back, the army announced that we have cleared the Orkzi agency. But the today's news was very much disturbing. That indicates that the people, the Taliban, Tariqa Taliban, or their, these kinds of the groups, they have been reassembled in that particular area, and the area which was considered cleared, they hit there. My own understanding about this strategy is that uh, if you see that government of Pakistan and foreign minister of Pakistan yesterday said that we are looking uh, for the option and we are dis going to think when we move into North Waziristan. In order to keep the army engaged in Aurangzeb and within the, you can say, Punjab, the law enforcement agencies, this could be a tactic 
to increase the pressure to engage the law enforcement agency and army out of the north of Pakistan so that they should not reach the hub of these, uh, you can say, the terrorist organizations where they have been residing. That could be a mil what we call it a new tactic that which is a part of their grand strategy that to keep the armed forces checked so that they should not move in the north of Pakistan. Thanks very much indeed, Dr. Jaspal.